Dr. Barry Epley, plastic surgeon of Indianapolis. I wanted to review some of the basic science and research behind the MIMIX hydroxyapatite cement used for cranial defect reconstruction provided by the Biomet Micro. MIMIX is a combination of two calcium phosphate powders, tetra and tricalcium phosphate, which when put together and mixed with an activator solution of citric acid forms and sets into a hard hydroxyapatite cement known as MIMIX. Uh, two powders are mixed together, usually with antibiotics, which is what I prefer to do, and then citric acid is added and then it is mixed into a putty in which it is molded into the defect as an inlay or onlay by hand. Uh, initially I looked at this material back in the early, I'm sorry, back in the mid 1996-97 and did a rabbit study which you can see here comparing it to unfilled and defects filled with a calcium phosphate and another calcium sulfate uh, solution. Uh, looking at those animals over a year later at the actual bone specimens, you can see that the unfilled defect did not heal and that the mimix defect remains more dense as would be expected from a hydroxy. If you looked at the histology, you see direct bone bonding without a fibrous interface to the inlay portion of the... When used as an onlay, I also placed this over rabbits on the nasal dorsum and looked at it a year later in which the material had not changed in size or shape. Histologic examination demonstrates again that there is an, a direct bone bonding to the material, which is here sitting on the darker green, which is the bone, and the lighter green which is the uh, mimics. Again, notice there is a interface, which is very important. You could go up the sides of the onlay and see the bone has grown up to about two-thirds of the way on top of the implant with uh, bone bonding. Uh, you can see here down at one of the corners from the underlying bone with the osteocytes to the new bone, which is growing up along the mimics. At the very apex of the material, uh, bone growth did not occur on top of it, and there's, there remains a thin fibrous castle, uh, capsule without bone in growth uh, that high. Uh, if you look at cross sections of the material, you can see the hydroxyapatite crystals which have formed, which are here in red, and all of the fracture pattern is very typical as these ceramic materials are processed for is an artifact. Uh, hydroxyapatite cement is very useful for a lot of cranial defects in which they are simply too large or the patient does not desire bone grafts, as we can see here in this Cruzans patient who had a bifrontal advancement but was left with a large bone posteriorly. This was filled in with a combination of lactosor mesh and Mimix online, and she went on to have an X, and as you can see here in x-rays, as just as we saw in the animals, you can see the dense Mimix bone fill in between the actual uh, bone edges.